So let's talk about red flags and financial statement analysis. Analysts look for red flags that may signal financial trouble. Recent accounting scandals highlight the importance of these red flags. The following conditions may reveal that the company is too risky. So a company could have suspect movement of sales, inventory, and receivables. So these three usually move together. So if a company's sales are up 10%, their receivables and inventory should also up, be up approximately 10%. So if you see receivables increasing at a faster rate than sales and inventory, then the company could have a problem. The same way if inventory is increasing faster than sales and receivables. Here's one that's more obvious, earnings problems. Remember, earnings are just another way to say profits. So if profits are falling for several years in a row or several quarters in a row, the company could be in danger. So you would probably have to take a look at that and see what is causing that. Is it going to be temporary or is this more of a permanent condition? Let's talk about cash flow and net income. Cash flow and net income from operations, excuse me, net income and cash flow from operations should be approximately the same. If cash flow from operations is consistently lower than net income, the company is in trouble or could be in trouble. We also need to look at the source of cash flow. If the main source of cash flow is the sale of plant assets, well, obviously that can't continue forever. The company will eventually face a cash shortage unless their sales increases dramatically. Another obvious red flag is too much debt. But remember, you need to compare the company's debt ratio with other competitors in the same industry because each industry could be very different in their levels and their average levels of debt. A company that's having trouble collecting its receivables is also a red flag. An example, are day sales and receivables growing faster than for the company's competitors? If so, a cash shortage may be on the horizon. And just as a reminder, Day sales and receivables is the number of days it takes to collect the average balance of receivables. Now, just because a company's day sales and receivables is increasing doesn't necessarily mean it's a red flag. If the economy is not doing too well and everybody's day sales and receivables are increasing at about the same rate, and when I say everybody, I mean the competitors in the same industry, then that's not a red flag. Inventory buildup is a common red flag. So if inventory is rising faster than sales is increasing, there could be a couple problems. The company may be unable to sell its inventory, or it may be overstating inventory either on purpose or out of ignorance. So there's lots of red flags to look at when analyzing a company. It's more than just looking at the income statement. You also need to carefully analyze the balance sheet and the statement of cash flows.